of the bell is like right here. Hi. How's it going? Uh, we're here to play more Dwarf Fortress. Because that's what I do now. Um, I already have all this loaded up. I think everything's working. Um, yeah. Um, I haven't done a whole lot off stream. Uh, I did do a little bit though. My main plan for today is, um, I'm down here. Water wheels. That's our main thing for today. Um, so if you remember, or if you didn't know, because it happened a while ago at this point, um, but we have this whole waterworks happening underneath our fortress. We have a river up on the top. We basically diverted it down into the ground, and it comes down over on this north side. Big vertical waterfall type situation here. Um, but all of our water comes down, and basically after some shenanigans, it... I don't know why that did that twice. Um, it drains down to here. This is the lowest level of our waterworks. And then it's all flowing from this top, and then it goes out. And we have two little well cisterns on the sides. Um, so this is a well cistern. Hello! And then the water flows off the edge of the map here, um, which has all been great. Um, what that means is that we have water flowing through this channel here. This is basically an artificial river. So, I'm going to use that to make some water wheels, and then we're going to use the water wheels to drive some millstones so that we can automate some of our, uh, our, our kitchen stuff. Um, primarily because we are trying to dye our thread now, and grinding the dye into dye powder, grinding the plant into actual dye, Doing it by hand on a, just a, a kern, a hand-powered thing, takes a while. So I'm hoping that we can save some dwarf power by replacing it with water power. Um, so that's the main goal for today. Shouldn't be too hard. Um, look at all that. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at. I'm just gonna unpause and, and see where we're at. Um, we're also going to dig out, uh, this is our, our new nobles quarters. Uh, we have Count and our outpost liaison down here, but I want to move like our, our mayor and, and captain of the garden stuff down here as well. So we'll work on that. Um, Zahn. He's in jail, thank goodness. Zahn has been assaulting people. Probably has, um, yeah, he's even got some stuff in here. Convict. And we have something off that went missing because, of course. Anyway, how's it going? Um, you all. Oh, I should undo these. These are the old chapels to small, small gods. Um, but these are all replicated downstairs now. Um, I want you to do all your praying downstairs. Those ones are better anyway. Slowly decommissioning the old fortress. <laughs> um, I've also, I went in here and I set um, a bunch of these things to be removed. Um, so these bedrooms are no longer bedrooms. Right? Yeah. Um, so as we can... I'll use that furniture to populate some of our stuff down here. Right? We're still... These ones are all good. Looks we're pretty close. We need to dig out some more bedrooms as well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what's going on right now. Uh, probably have some more cabinets. Right. Now 
everyone's happy. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and enable some of these to be dug. We're like. Something like that. Come over here and do the same thing. Let's do that. Because that don't need to be. Let's get about this level. It's another 80 bedrooms. I know 10, 20, 40. Eh. 40 bedrooms. I'll get us closer. Um, but yeah, uh, millstones. We need to make some actual millstones. Make rock millstone. Um, and how many do I want? I will kind of spacing this out. We could do like each little block of nine. We'll do six. Without much issue. Pretty sure. Because they stand on top of the thing to, to use it. I'm pretty sure. Um, we could fit a ton in here. We'll start with... Start with like 12. Um, and then we also need to make sure we have a bunch of mechanisms. I know I have a job in here for her. No idea what it's at. Mechanisms. 30. That's probably enough for now. Um, and then we also need wood, but we have wood. We could do... Uh, I could do... What was... Auto chop. That was weird. Uh, we're currently auto chopping to keep 100. We currently have 133. This is like 150. Nope, not. Oh my goodness. There. Um, so yeah, okay, just designated another tree. Cool. Um, I also moved around all my my F hotkeys, <laughs> so I'll have to relearn those buttons. Um, so yeah, digging is happening. Glass is probably happening. Yeah, we got some glass. The other thing I want to make sure happens... All bad at some point. Um, the other thing that needs to be moved down is our wild animals. Mayor, come on, battle axes, really. Um, we have a pasture upstairs with all of our grazing animals. And that all works fine, but it's way far away at this point. So, I want to move them closer. Who are you? Are you? You're a troglodyte. Random corpses everywhere. 
Um, but because we dug so far down to make our new fortress, we are we have some nice even stone layers. We don't have a whole lot of um, what you call it, uh, a lot of earth things. We're not we're not growing anything inside of our fortress except for our bathhouse unintentionally. <laughs> um, which is to say that I couldn't just come like down here, um, you know, here. If I just carved out a room and tried to make that a pen, it wouldn't grow anything because all of the all the stone in here won't grow grass and whatnot unless we like intentionally move mud into it. Um, so instead of trying to get fancy with that. Our cave layer is not too far from our kitchen. Um, here's our farm. There's a stairwell here. It goes straight down. It's a bit of a, a climb, I guess, but it's nearby. Um, View descent several levels. Um, it's either even doing stuff now. Um, which is to say that... I think we can relocate our pen up here. I'm thinking that this area here, maybe we'll we'll mine out some of these little blocky bits. Um, but this might be our new pasture. There's also a bunch of trees in there, so maybe that can be our our chopping zone. More mandates. More mandates, because of course. Um, but that means I want to enclose all of this to make it not, uh, dangerous we have a we have a nice natural wall here i think we're gonna want to chop some of these trees now that i just designated stuff to be chopped on the surface um but stuff along the edges here and then I also have this area here. We could also do like this. Might be easier since it's flatter. Kind of. Yeah. What? Ignore me. <laughs> um. This was a farm area, and I kind of abandoned it, uh, but I could... I could repurpose it, and it's just not... I want, like, a big, unbroken ground of cave moss. Floor fungus. Give me the floor fungus. Hmm... So here we would be building, we build all the way around here. And then up along here. Whereas here. Jeez, I don't know. Also like, yeah, but I don't want to go too far out a field. Do like, does it go straight across here? Maybe that's big enough. Does these form nice natural walls at least? Kind of. Okay. Changing my mind 50 times. Let's do like this. No. Like that. Mm. 
And there should be just a whole mess of stone blocks sitting around. Uh, so I'm just going to do like this. Granite blocks. What's happening? Granite blocks. Of course, we'll have to go up and make these taller. And then here, hmm. look at all these barons. Jeez, so many barons. We're making choirs, equipment mismatch. No, who's fighting? The group punches the carpenter. Carpenter get a punch in? No, the recruit is just wailing on the carpenter. Okay, well. Can't convict you of it yet, <laughs> but I will. Water wheels are for power. Um, what I will be using them for in the most immediate sense is for kitchen stuff. Um, so there's kerns, which are uh, a, a manual powered millstone, basically. A dwarf comes over and you can probably even see it happening. These, these are kerns. So there's a dwarf standing here milling stuff. Um, like right now we're, we're milling dimple dye mushrooms into dimple dye and then dye is used to dye thread and that makes clothes worth more. Um, but you have to mill it into powder same thing with like um, sugar and flour. We have to mill. Um, so like you can use a kern, and it just requires a dwarf to come over and stand here for a long time. But if you do a millstone, millstones are driven by power. So then the dwarf just comes over and basically tosses the thing into the millstone, and then can walk away while the thing is grinding automatically. Um, so that's what we will be using power for. In the immediate sense, we'll be making some water wheels on our little underground river section, and then uh, we'll have some. We'll have a shaft, basically, a big uh, axle that comes up through here. The space we'll be digging at some point. Um, power will just go right up to our crafting floor, and it will connect right into the millstones, and then those will have power. Oh yeah, no. Mechanical power, definitely. Um, not electricity. Um, that'd be cool. People people make computers in Dwarf Fortress. Goblin Poet has gone berserk. Have fun. We have a lot of people just outside hanging out. <laughs> Um, okay, who are you fighting? More, more assaults. Um, but that is probably the simplest use of power. Um, there's a bunch of other things that can use power. The main thing that you'll see like big power consumption used for is a pump stack, um, which is just a vertical stack of pumps. Um, so you can take water or lava from one level and pump it up to a different level. Um, I got pretty lucky with my current fortress layout in that um, I'm building kind of close to the magma. 
like my my fortress is here and then my magma is just down here um but in a lot of other situations you won't have like your natural magma won't be anywhere near that's convenient to use so you'll see people make these constructions that will pump magma from its location down here up basically towards the surface so that you can use it in a in a more shallow fortress setting um, or water you can pump water around too um, and those can also be driven by dwarves a person can stand in a uh, a pump uh, and you know pump it uh, but then you can also hook them hook them up with power from water wheels or or windmills windmills are the other thing you can do to drive power um, and that will just pump things automatically from the top from the bottom and put it up to the top um, and those are both cool things to do um what else can power be used for power can also be used for mine carts there's a whole mine cart system that i haven't <laughs> used yet in this fortress maybe someday um mine carts can go down hills obviously without much issue in fact the issue is keeping them from going too fast sometimes but you can also send mine carts up uh you know upward ramped tracks with little rollers and it'll like you know have a little a a square that's receiving power and have little power driven rollers and then the minecart rolls over it and gains a bunch of speed and shoots up the ramp um, so you can use it for stuff like that too um things that aren't generally necessary for a fortress to function um, like we've got we're this is a 13 year old fortress and we haven't gotten any power yet so that that tells you how crucial this is but um at this point it's gonna it's gonna help uh we have we're scaling up our our farming production and our production of things that require oh a ghostly child Great, and a baron fighting a troglodyte. <laughs> Let's make a quick uh, slab to little Astesh. Do that real quick. Uh, yeah, this will all get dug eventually, right? Yeah, well, they're working on it. Um. Yeah, who's just a random baron fighting a random troglodyte? Who will win? Do you even what do you have? Hard winded, nauseous, heavy bleeding. You're wearing wool and leather gloves. A troglodyte. Is also seriously injured and naked, of course. Someone just lost a nose, I think. Jeez. I need to send the squad down. And kill Roglodite. <laughs> not, not the Baron. One of these two is going to die before my soldiers get there, almost guaranteed. Where'd that other one go? This is the this water's like too deep too. One of you is going to die. I know it. Jeez. Hopeless, afraid, terrified. Neither of you want to be fighting. Um, okay, so I also want to do construct a wall here. And then uh, we're going to come up. Yeah. 
figures. I blocked this location. I have to chop down the tree in order to build stairs. These at least are... Power caps are... <laughs> Contained, don't have branching tops, at least. Uh, let's see. construct stairs. Here. And then granite blocks. And then we're gonna have to each of these individually. So that's how that goes oh. and then you're also fine okay nope need access oh this tree probably blocks their access and then that also needs to go Well, we'll have wood. Uh, stairs. Uh, and then we're just missing. Mm, yeah, we'll, we'll close this in. I'm not going to risk it and put any gates in here and, and tempt fate. going on over here. You're gonna get a... I don't know, you're both like... Bleeding, seriously injured, faint. How do you even get out here? You're not part of my fortress. Our visitor is ready to leave. You just... <laughs> okay. I don't know that they'll get any help in my um, my hospital. What's all this? Zircon. What's that other one? Just up there. Unconscious. Also unconscious. They both passed out. In a tree. Like, our our soldiers aren't gonna be able to get over there, are they? Mm. Yeah, how about you just come over here? Be a bunch of fish people in here, though, aren't there? Uh, we fixed our ghost child. Uh, ooh, slab. There you are. That's all we got, right? Yeah. Um, digging is happening. Did you get locked outside? Play make believe. <laughs> Child. Um, let's also might move our little entrance here. Down here. 
Let's build. Let's do it that way. Do it here. Maybe that's what we'll do. Do construct wall. Keep our farm and our. Of course, there's a tree there. We'll keep our farm and our pen separate. How about that? Oh, now we're in early summer. mod for electricity someday. That'd be kind of cool. child put to rest. Thank goodness. Uh, low boots and battle axes. Is it still where we're at? Low boot battle axe. Ready to activate. Now... Oh! Another siege. Goblin siege. Um, let's send our military up to the top. I'll just I'll station here to start with. Um, is this a big siege or a small siege? Uh, this is a big siege. This is a real siege. Okay. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. Now. Hoping I can tell my people to stay inside. Seriously, hey, they are on the same level, or no, they're one level lower. Dang. If they were up here, then my catapults could get them. Anyway, um, we have people getting logs. You are doing nothing. You're a baron. Very nice. Good up here. I think once everyone grabs those logs, they'll be fine. And the ones that are. Oh, God! Can I convict you yet? I tell him to stay inside. So, it's trickier than it used to be. Um, the short answer is burrows. Um, which I can... This isn't a huge... I'm not hugely worried about this amount. Um, you can get sieges that are, like, three or four more times goblins than that. So it could be worse. Um, 
the main thing is burrows, which is this button. Um, you can see we have a couple of burrows set up already. We have one called safety, which I'm sure is way outdated. But this is our, our tree chopping one. Yeah. Let's... I'm just going to remove this one. Also that one. That didn't work. <laughs> um, but, so I'll, I'll add a new burrow. I'll come down to the areas that I want them to stick to. Um, so our, our fortress, just like this, and we'll just designate like holding thing, except I don't want erase, oh, erase. Not this. This is like kind of quasi outside. Um, so when that's all inside, then this is all inside. Obviously, a lot of this isn't dug out into anything quite yet, but we can just designate these stairwells in here. All of this is fine, except for. Whoops! Um. Did that... Okay, I kept it. <laughs> That's good. Um, this is our little raid depot here. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll just say this is all dangerous. It's kind of outside of our traps here. Um, then all this is good. All right, all this is fine. And then this is just stairs down. This whole floor is fine. All right. And then like this. Yeah. I wish I could zoom out slightly more. Um, we don't need any of that. We do need this. And this. And this. Basically, I'm trying to paint all of the areas that I want people to stay in. If I want people to stay inside, I have to define what inside means. Mm -hmm. We do that with a burrow. And then I want this, all of that, this, this. This, all of this, that for sure, all of that, all of that. Okay. Now rest, that's fine. Okay. Gonna make sure I got all of this. Like that. Okay. We have all of this. This is all fine. Um, and then we want to come up to here. This is safe, quote-unquote. 
Um, but I do want them to be able to have access to the farm while we're being sieged. It's mostly safe. There's traps here. Um, I won't designate the traps themselves, though. And that's fine. And this just goes up into the old fortress, which... Sure. Oh, our hospital for sure. And then this is all old stuff, but I do want them to continue to have access to their bedrooms while I'm getting them out of there. All this. That's whatever, fine. Um, and that stuff too. Like goats and stuff down here. Um, and then sure. That's basically all of our inside areas. More or less. Okay, we'll call that call that good. Call this inside. Now we want to assign all of the civilians. Which is gonna add Hmm. Problem that I'm going to run into here. It's mostly just going to be the children. Because. And all our new people, too. That's fine. Um. That's <laughs> 71 people. So that button, it assigned everyone except for our soldiers, which is kind of what we want, because our soldiers, we want to be able to send out and, and do stuff outside of the burrow. But I have basically everyone in the fortress in a squad. I have all these squads. Um, only the top two of these are our actual military squads. There's our captain, that is our guard. Everyone else is just citizens who have training duties, and they're not like actual soldiers, but this burrow's menu counts them as soldiers, so it's not going to assign them to the burrow, and I'm not going to go in and assign them all one by one, because that's silly. Um, anyway, if this were to work properly, this is how we would do it. Um, there's two toggles here. You can toggle the pause. This will just like enable and disable that entire burrow. Um, so if you if you assign everyone inside and then your, your your trouble passes, then you can just disable the burrow. You don't have to uh, like you can pause the burrow or suspend. I guess you don't have to release everyone from it or destroy the burrow or anything. You can just toggle it. The other button here is for whether or not workshops can source materials from outside the burrow. So you can assign everyone to try to stay inside the burrow, but they can still take jobs that'll take them outside the burrow to grab materials for like a job that's inside the burrow. So you can disable that as well. Um, yeah, in previous versions of this game, there was an alert system. where You could designate a burrow like that, where you say what is inside and what is safe. And then there was a like a civilian alert button or a toggle where you could say everyone who's not on active military duty is constrained to that burrow until the alert goes away. Um, but that the alert system is not here anymore. Um, so I'm we're wondering if it's going to get replaced by something. Um, if it'll 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 show back up in a different form. 
but right now we don't really have like an equip an equivalent. Um, so I assigned I I told all the children to get it, children to get in, so that'll help at least. Our soldiers are going to come up, and I'm going to forbid these logs so that no one's coming up to grab them. Um, but aside from doing that, the the other thing that we could do, since we have all of our civilians in squads, I can give all those squad station orders and tell them to go inside. So they'll just drop what they're doing. They, they will can they will cease taking jobs while they're on the station order. So our fortress will kind of pause while we're being sieged. But if I really want them to get inside, then you can like assign them to a, a military squad and tell them to station. And that'll get them out of there at least. Um, but let's see how, A, how many we have and how quickly they show up. Let's see how urgent of a situation this is. They're kind of trickling in. Who was down here? I just saw someone, I swear. Where'd you go? Weird. Oh, you. There you are. Peasant. Running around babbling. We just have... People on the surface running around being mad at all times, don't we? Okay. Here's what you have. Coyote leather. Iron breastplate and, and leather. Okay. Won't be too bad. Um, so long as our squads get here. Yeah. Everyone else is going inside. You can also check to see if anyone's like coming this direction. I don't see anyone. You're leaving. Yeah, okay. Everyone's going in. Um, in theory, since this is the only entrance into our fortress right now, and it's covered in traps, so in theory, even if our squad isn't here, they're just gonna come in and get chewed up, hopefully. Baron. Visiting Baron. Needs decent study. You're not our Baron. Yeah. Go yell at your fortress for not having a study. No, you run inside. You ridiculous person. Okay. <laughs> like, considering. Oh. Fisher Dwarf with no job. So like you. You are in the squad, the, the Tongs of Raining. Let's do this. Find the Tongs of Raining. Down here. Um, you're just. Oh, here's our soldiers. We're gonna get station order. Now, I'm I'm telling one person to go inside, but I'm also telling nine other people to come and stand around in the hallway. So, and even then, you're just gonna ignore it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then did you... You just walked right over all those traps? That's very cool. Where's our soldiers? We have two soldiers coming. One more, okay. Sheesh. Yeah, you're not gonna have a good time, are you? Okay, oh, here come our people. Okay, I'm gonna release that <laughs> station order. Uh, you can see how effective that was. Uh, but here come the dwarves. Perfect. 
That's what I like to see. Goblin thief. You're not going to get in. The Fisher Dwarf is in a martial trance. Wow. Do you, what do you get done here? What's your name? Geshed? Uh, where's Geshed? Geshed. Fisher Dwarf Geshed. Well, the first thing that happened was you got shot by a copper bolt in the chest. <laughs> so good job there. Um, recruit punches the crossbowman in the left arm and bruises it. Yeah, you're completely unarmed, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, not... Didn't do too great. Recruit scratches the grub and blow mint. Bowman in the arm, tearing the muscle. Twist the elbow, scratches in the arm. Grabs by the tunic. Recruit takes the goblin bowman down by the leather tunic. Bites the goblin bowman in the right hand. And gets shot in the chest again. <laughs> Uh, okay. Valiant effort. Glad you survived until our squad got here. So you may you may still die here in the, the battlefield. Yep. Yeah, you died. I'm sorry. I tried. Okay. Uh, well, we got several of them killed. We're still being sieged. Curious. Oh, you're hiding. Yeah. And then you're you're a goblin. Oh, I see. There's only there's only two of us here. We're still outnumbered. Uh, station is fine. We'll just station station out here. Who are you? Another Baroness. Just standing? Bleeding? You didn't need to help, you could have run inside. I'm just gonna... Stand there and take it? <laughs> okay, here we go. Please run. Okay. Baroness Corn Consort. Rith? No, that was a different one. Who are you? Oh. There was another fight going on over here. Well. There are just so many barons. <laughs> Uh, okay. We're still, still fighting here? No? Okay. Now... Clean this up. I think we want to issue a kill order. Uh, both of them, yes. But everyone who's left... Uh, we can also come into our units menu. And we have a bunch of people in cages. Uh, but, yeah. Goblin thieves. All of our cavefish people will also show up in, as invaders. Um, so they aren't part of the siege. Goodness. We need to clear them out at some point. Here we go. Goblin Bowman, two, three. Yeah. I only see three. Four. Okay, we'll, we'll assume that those four are the last ones. 
Or were they? They were up here. Peasant. Oh. Didn't get inside fast enough. Now everyone's going to go over and chase down these last ones. Oh, I see. They broke the siege. They're trying to leave. Do not let them. Let's terminate. I'll be back in greater numbers. There. Now they're going to, like, flee randomly. Okay. Oh, there's a thief. Kill the thief. Get it. Get it. It's getting to the map. No. There. Got it. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Well, our traps didn't do a whole lot there, but uh, it probably helped in some way. I'm just going to forbid this whole pile here. Um... Well, we didn't lose any soldiers. Just a couple, just a couple of peasants and baronesses. It's fine. Yeah, baroness, consort, and peasant. Unfortunate. Here come some more barons to replace them. That's really the hard part with with enemies, just in general. Uh, of course you are. Where are we here? Convict. Convict. Now they'll all filter back in. Um, but you don't have, like, real strict control over what they do. Especially when you're trying to get them to do something and there's enemies nearby. Like you saw, I gave a, I gave a station order to go inside, and he went, Oh, I'm on duty, and ran to the enemies. I guess, yeah, that's, that is what would happen, because if you're on a station order and you see an enemy, you engage the enemy, and then you come back to the station. So... Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, you you kind of have to you have to just deal with it, I guess. Uh, yeah. Like I could. Even these, these are all forbidden. I'll unforbid these now. Um, oh, look at all the f dead flowers. Dense dead rush. Um, like, I could just, I could shut all the doors. And of course, they wouldn't be able to get out. But of course, like if your soldiers are inside and you close the door, then the soldiers can't come out. Or if you have the one fisher dwarf on the surface and he's out there and you close the door, he can't come back in. Well, there's always, always kind of a, a give and take there. Um, one thing that I should be doing, and I'm not. Maybe I'll suck that up. Why are your your eyes are strange? Should I be suspicious of you? Um. But, we can also set up 
routines for our actual soldiers to patrol up here. I will have to remember how that works. What's the outpost liaison? Bye. Okay. Well, we were working down here. All of our stuff is going. Well. Uh, human diplomat. Cool. Um, so this whole wall is fine, right? Yeah, no way in there. And... Fine here. I do basically want this wall. fast. Mm. That goes all the way up. So we could do... I don't want to just <laughs> undo the stuff here. We'll do this. Wall. Come across like this. Wall. And then uh, we'll go like this. but it'll work. Um, let's just deconstruct these. Is this... I mean, I have the door closed here. It's just... That's just gonna be what it is. Um, so now we need more stairs. I've never seen someone labeled a drunk before. Okay, well, I have a guess as to why you'd hide. Uh, well. And then... Uh, oh... And oh, okay. And then uh, all of the 
Let's well, let's go check on our. Let's go check on this. Oh, drunk or drank too much? Where is that? Rigoth? Rigoth. You've been in there for a while. That is so interesting. I've never seen someone just called drunk before. How, how much of a drunk do you have to be to go from peasant to drunk? Usually if there's no profession, they're just a peasant. That's so weird. Human caravan, human treasurer. Um, well, let's go see if we can use our new trade depot. Um, can I, I can preemptively request that things are moved here. That's good. Um, in theory, the good stuff is close by. Here's a box filled with worn clothes. Perfect. Definitely want you. You are normal leather. You are a bunch of stuff I want to sell. Yeah. You are filled with rings, which I cannot sell. <laughs> but at least they're all separate. Um, you are also all worn clothing, aren't you? And then leather, 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 everything's further. Nope. You we can get rid of all of you. Ammo we're keeping. That's all leather. Finished goods. Oh, quivers. We can't sell quivers. Baron. Or Duke. Count, whoever you are. We need a separate. Well, I don't want to sell quivers. Quivers aren't a sellable thing anyway, so that's that's actually fine. Um, or they're they're sellable. They're not something I'm working to sell. I guess I should say. That. Here's mostly worn things and a mug. That shouldn't be there. <laughs> uh, more worn things. Twenty-four thousand. What's worth that much in here? One random artifact in here. Or is it just a huge bin? Wow. You can fit a lot of socks in the box. Holy cow. Wow. How did this much stuff fit in one bin? That is absurd. Oh I'm definitely getting rid of this bin. It's all, like, literally all worn clothes. Excellent. That is so ridiculous. I've never seen a bin get that full. Twenty-five thousand worth of worn-out clothes. Okay. And then there's gonna be quivers and stuff. Another um, totems and such. Yeah, that is clearly plenty. <laughs> that one bin could. Probably buy out this entire caravan with that one bin of worn clothing. Oh my god. Um, I'm also gonna request you come here. In theory, like, that's all of these things. Oh. So they're just gonna take stuff from here and move them and go right in here, and then we'll trade them there. So that's convenient. Um, where is this? Okay. 
Who saw these? Oh, you. Okay. You're coming right in. Okay. Let's... Mission. Quickly, please. Um, you run. Thank you. <laughs> the rest of you... Up. Yeah. We'll just slowly filter in. That's the best way, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just seen a bunch of body parts fly around. Okay, we have one dude. The exact thing I don't want to happen. And you have friends coming. Not really. Well, there's only a couple. Hopefully you got this. Out. No. Leaving the safety of the traps. The world is the same as ever. you to just when you're in a martial trance that's a good thing overexerted exhausted unconscious ugh hmm. one more person oh my god and now you're just gonna come in here and be alone too aren't you there system people saves lives fight them on the traps or behind the traps see now we're fine we are reelected you absolute dorks Keep them stationed here for a minute just to make sure there's no more stragglers hiding. There's also this trap here that does not want to get done. Okay, who's getting promoted to soldier? What's the best for jeweler? Duke. <laughs> um, you're literally just a wrestler. Did we lose two people? What else did we lose? I probably took it from the one. Wrestler, bard, wrestler, pump operator, sure. 
and then you can be just whatever present. Mayor meets with the High Treasurer. Mayor's world is the same as ever. Okay. I still want you to bring. Same. Yes, sand. And instruments, maybe? Instruments. Tools and ammunition. Once again, resume. Um, you remove your station orders. That'd be fine. Dump all that. Um, we have something. Here we go. Here's our trash pile. Uh, Stray cow calf nervous tissue. Ridiculous. Um, but we're dumping all of this. Right. I don't. There's a wheelbarrow. Just don't want to dump the wheelbarrows. Might also just tell him to dump the rest of these rocks too, because at this point, I don't know where they're gonna. <laughs> it's gonna be a while before I use them all. This. Um, you are allowed to have five wheelbarrows. I don't know how many you actually have. Um, make sure there's nothing stuck in here. All the stuff in here is from butchering our animals. I think is a good sign. Getting through all of our corpses. Home remains. Cool. Dump all the things. Merchants have arrived. Cool. Uh, so we're just waiting for our mayor to show up. Because our mayor, memory serves. Our mayor's in one of the training squads because everyone is. Same one, right? Yeah. No, not this tab. This tab. I'm in. Lacotte Mare. Just remove you from the squad. Mm. Destruction. Okay. Now, if I go to the blockaded pulley rumors. Um. Ligot. I'm just gonna see you with someone else. Present. 
So now, champion, wrestler, it's our mayor, because here's our mayor. Squad none. Okay. You're gonna go store a thing. Yeah, I know it's on. Oh, but you're not in jail. Why aren't you in jail? Who let you out? Oh, of course you're in here. What were you carrying? Attend a meeting. You're going to throw a tantrum in the training hall. You're going to have a bad time. Haggard. Someone spinning microcline bound codex strikes the recruit in the upper lip and the injured part is crushed. I threw something. I feel regret. Zon. You threw a rock bound book at a person in the training hall while everyone was watching. You and now you're still throwing a tantrum. Feels free remembering being released from confinement. Is that the lesson that you took from that? <laughs> right back into prison. <laughs> there you go. Back to our... I know, I don't want to follow you. Back here. Okay. Construct claw. Like this. Mm -hmm. Ultimately... Stairs, because of course. Oh. Migrants. I don't have room for migrants. to actually let people in here now. <laughs> I have successfully sealed it. Oh, okay. Um, but I'm... The way down, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna do, like, And 
and from there we'll have access to the pen. You're stuck here now. Oops. Oop. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we have stranded them inside. That's fine. Also, just clear cut these trees to make sure we have. I assume these are on tiles that can become. Uh oh, tiles that can become grass. Forgotten beast Ulet Umo has come, a towering one-eyed newt, square shell, and it has a bloated body. But where its noxious secretions? Where are you? You're down here. More stuff in Cave 2 that I don't care about. Let's see if you get owned by ant people. Like all the others. Come here. Yeah. I see some troglodytes. The Crundles. Get the Crundle. Seriously injured? Did you... How did you become seriously injured by a crundle? Crundle scratches the forgotten beast in the foot, denting the skin and bruising the fat. Crundle bites the forgotten beast in the front leg, bruising the fat. Crundle scratches. I mean, the Crundle definitely lost, <laughs> but did more damage than I would have suspected. How many Crundles does it take to take down a Forgotten Beast? You might find out. There's several down here. Here they come. Got pile. No, they're not that brave. <laughs> Ulet the Bad. <laughs> That's his name. Me. Yeah, just keep chasing down the crundles. Enjoy yourself. Help yourself to all the crundles you can find. Oh my goodness, jeez. Um, well. Okay. Now you can all get out. You hunt for small creature. Starving thirsty. You are probably stranded, aren't you? Um can I just construct it? Like this. Or no. It will be much faster. To just deconstruct one. Hopefully, someone comes by and does that quickly to rescue this child. Oh, 
this, uh... You're still out here, aren't you? Well, okay. Uh, okay. Walls. And then... Here's... We're still waiting. Oh, why did you get suspended? Oh, we're trading. Need to make sure to not forget. Excellent. Great. So. Some of these are yellow. And some are white. I forget what that means. Those are huge. Or huge bin. One thing's twenty four thousand. Well, I don't see anything in here that is like an artifact or valuable to keep a hold on. Just a bunch of partially worn socks. with that um i do and you know what i'm gonna do with it i'm gonna sell it we're trading with the humans right now i've managed to get a couple of bins that are just filled with partially worn clothing they're gonna go away not even gonna bother disposing of them putting them in refuse piles selling them to humans I think that's the smartest thing you can do um and I'm going to buy a bunch of instruments. Give me a pile of the cheapest instruments you got. Green glass Como. Why are they all glassed? Can they only be glass? Oh, so expensive. My goodness. Of course, I, re I requested instruments, so they're all going to have a huge markup now. Also, hi. Uh, very cool. Glass is like the one thing I don't have renewable. Um, so I'm I'm importing sand. That's the other thing I'm going to buy from from the humans. Is I'm importing sand. Uh, because my throne room has a bunch of glass in it, and I'm making it all fancy. I'll show that to you in a second. Uh, like, we have we have so much... Like, we're cranking out porcelain. We have so much uh, stuff for, for earthenware. Crafts, but no sand. So we've been ma making porcelain statues. Out the wazoo. Cool. Gongs made of bones. Why not? Uh, puzzle box, boats, toys. That was all fine. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you have weapons. I get it. Yes, yes. 
Where's the sand? Bags. Here we go. Oat flower. Why not? Bilberry seeds. We do have a small above ground farm. Lots of sand. Love it. Love it. Love it. What? Give me all your seeds. Cool. We still haven't even... That all just accounts to a thousand. Um... Let's grab a couple boxes of cloth just to round out our current stocks. We are producing cloth pretty good right now, but now it's just rounded out a bit. We have plenty of leather. Some black sand all around the top of the magma tube for the volcano. That's cool. Covering the whole top layer with green glass fullers, except for the ones I have to leave open for magma furnaces. Uh, safely dump garbage into the upper level. Very cool. So you can see down into the into the magma. Is that the idea? That's, that's pretty cool. Um, hmm. Nice. Uh, look at all this meat. I don't think I care about the meat. Parks crews. Oh, do you have any books? Do you have books for me? Little penguin parchment seat cheat. Um, these are just sheets. You don't have any actual books. Uh, okay. Well, uh, more instruments, I guess. We're gonna take off with 25k worth of worn out clothing. I'm gonna take your instruments. Gonna be mostly human instruments, but that's fine. We'll do the same thing with the doors. Yeah. How do you like that? Perfect. Enjoy your clothes. Uh no trader needed. And good. Uh we've dug out more bedrooms. So we can work on that. Um my throne room down here is my whole royal quarter. Uh, the queen bedroom dining hall tomb. This is all of our artifact stuff down here. I um, mean, this itself is the throne room, still in progress. It's a nice little inverted pyramid kind of a thing. And then the idea is this whole floor is going to be glass. I'm still working on making glass. We could probably do a bunch more. This whole floor is going to be glass, and I'm going to mine out this uh, outside bit. And this front wall is going to be glass, so that you can be in the throne room, and you're looking down into the second cave layer. That's the goal. Um, but I'm, I don't have any sand on the map, so I have to import my glass, and I'm also doing clear glass, so I'm burning a whole bunch of... Um, burning a bunch of trees to, to make clear glass. Um, train and equip full squad of hammer dwarves. Yep, uh, I somehow have gotten very lucky with our, our undead situation. Um, my, my intent when embarking here, because you're, someone's coming. We're in an evil biome. Not very many evil things have happened. It just kind of sucks. Um, my initial plan when embarking here was to have, like, a half-evil, half-not-evil half evil embark. Um, 
but it turned out to be all evil. But none of it's like, none of it's the reanimating kind of evil, I guess, which I've never seen before. Um, everything's just dead on the surface. Um, or, um, but it's just, it's just dead. Dead chestnuts, dead birch, dead muck roots, dead rush. That's cool. Might do something in a in a a mirthful or a like one of the more hazardous good biomes. I think those are fun too. That would be what happened next. Um, got a bunch of bees. Has anyone built this? No one's built this. I don't know why. We have a little farm here for leeks because our queen like our queen likes leeks. Um, and. People keep just spending. It's the same one. Um, but we're... Or did we save the child? I think we saved the child. You're still out here dancing in the tree, though. Unicorns? I still haven't seen a unicorn in person. They're supposed to be really dangerous, aren't they? Yeah, I killed a hunter. What happened to this guy? This guy's just been out in a tree. I don't think he's actually... He's hes a visiting baron. He's just been fighting troglodytes in the trees over here. <laughs> like, the water's too deep for me to, like, tell someone to go and actually get him. Uh, okay, let's plug up this hole. That... And right now I'm walling in a section of the cave so that it can serve as an indoor pen that will be much closer to my deeper fortress area than my current pen at like level, I don't know, at, yeah, resume. Close to ban. Um... Okay, and then all this got made. This is still waiting. Uh, oh, did that not? Weird. <laughs> um, stairs. There. Hello. How's it going? We are we are enclosing enclosing a space for our new our animals. Our, our domesticated mountain goats. That's a thing that I have now. Um oh, and also, I guess I should check to see if our digging has been completed. It's all good. Um here, this all's all been dug. Excellent. Um, so here we have kind of a an artificial underground river going on our in our waterworks, and I want to use that for power. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to channel out all of this. I believe one two three one two three one two three one two three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we'll just carve out the the roof of the river, I guess, and then we will put some water wheels on top. Um, and water wheels need adjacent things to hang from, namely mechanisms. Gear assemblies, sorry. Uh, so we'll do uh, just any mechanism. And then this, pretty sure. Each water wheel is, is one by three tiles. And you need a 
gear mechanism adjacent to the middle, basically. Um, so we'll go like this. Like that. Wow, wheels, yes. See, we got a nice little artificial river here. Nice and safe inside. Don't have to deal with a surface to get power. Keep unpowered mist generators as I dug down past light aquifer layers. Yep. Aquifers turn out to be great for mists. <laughs> um, 15 layers of stills built a drain. Yep. Um, that's essentially what my my waterfall situation looked like for a while. I now have a bathhouse that is almost what I want it to be. It's a little, little muddier than I wanted it to be, but um, I'm diverting diverting my river from the surface. Um, it's just coming straight down here, and then it's coming over here, and then it's overflowing uh, these little reservoirs. And then it falls down here, and falls on these little plus signs, and then makes mist. Um, yeah. So, th and then this, uh, so this is like a main corridor this is our our dining hall this is the only way into our dining hall basically everyone has to walk through a waterfall to get into our dining hall and this is like a pretty main corridor as well so happy with that um but yeah and then our our water just basically collects down here comes down splits and goes to two well reservoirs that don't currently have any wells on them yet and then flow off the edge of the map um, but previously, we had like this. Um, this was my, this is all me coming down through the aquifer. Um, but we just have some grates here right next to the bottom of the stairwell, and then these just drain out into the cave. That's what, so that's what I did. Um, with a, with a light aquifer, they don't produce so much, uh, so much water that they don't dissipate themselves if they can, like, splatter out here then they're fine uh, you can see all this mud uh but yeah that's that's how i did that uh let's do resume make sure all these get made okay uh we can probably keep going Not more walls Come on. No access. I mean, oh. Because. Because, because, because. Okay. And you're still waiting. And. Over here. Okay. I'm gonna have to take out that tree. Ooh! A possessed weaponsmith. I'm potentially okay with this. Um, okay. Construct wall. Eat. Eat. My goats are going to be so safe. Nothing's ever going to happen to them. Okay. Now... I want to chop down some of these trees, so I'm going to take out this one. That won't cause too much danger. Um. <laughs> um. Yeah, 
yeah, high learning curve, but less than it used to be, I would say. Um, okay, I want to watch you. Oh, where'd you go? Go check when you claim a thing. Baron is still fighting. Is that... That's you. One of these days, either the Baron or the Troglodyte is gonna die. <laughs> Uh, you want gauntlets and quivers. Okay. Gauntlet. Steel gauntlet. Quiver. Two gauntlets, three quivers. seems fine. I wonder if I, like, channeled down. You think this is Earth? This is probably all... Hmm. I wish I could move, like, Earth in an intentional way. Have you claimed? No? No. Let's go find Nil. Mm. <laughs> it's one of you. Strange mood. That one, obviously. You're just you're just on the other end of the fortress than the forges. Come back up for something. Okay, <laughs> I'll let you continue. Um, water wheels. No, no. Okay. So now we have all of these gear assemblies, so we can come down and make water wheels. I want to do this. All right, it's just gonna. We're just going to use the logs that we have. Does it reset every time? It's silly. Aban. Did I know about your death? I don't know that I did. Um, so this row of water wheels will be supported by these gear assemblies. And then we can make another row of water wheels on this side, but they will be supported by this row of water wheels. So we we'll want to make sure that we make these before <laughs> the other ones. Um, okay, you've probably been there for a while. Slowly draining the lake in this cave. Speaking of, draining it from two sections and now it will be three. I can remember to do all the things. Um, right, I'm just gonna do that. Um, <laughs> it's still pretty deep over on this side, but we're we're getting there on this side. Um, but you can see we have all these cave fish people have been lurking in here. Look at. I've lost too many dwarves to the cave fish people, so I'm I'm ta I'm draining their lake so that we can fight them without drowning. Uh, claimed a magma forge. That's cool. Forgotten beast is fighting. 
How are you? How are you doing? Did you die? No. I mean, something happened. Fix the crundle in the head. Okay. You killed a crundle. Thanks. Okay. Uh, the other thing that we need to do here. Oh, yeah, we could make. Perfect. See, look, they're even turning. It's so cool. Okay. I haven't done machines in the Steam version yet. So this looks, visually, this looks slightly different. Um, but now, power's going to all these gear assemblies. So we connect them with axles. And we want them to go this way, like that. Come on. And then we'll put another there, and then we put another gear assembly right here. And then this is our vertical shaft. So we'll have an axle coming up this way, and then we'll have uh, a gear assembly here. And then an axe coming this way. So, let's actually go ahead and place some of our millstones, which are hopefully made somewhere. Um, needs ground or near machine. Do I have to build a machine first? No, I do not. So I won't. Um, we're just going to do something like this. Actually, I want to don't want these because then I can do machine here assembly here and I think I can just do this and Horizontal axle, like that. And... I don't know how it's gonna go. Um, I made 12 millstones. Uh, because. <laughs> because I did. I think what we're gonna do is something like this. And then now I'm out. Okay. Maybe I'll ask for six more. Just to make it symmetrical. Um, and then uh, we can hook all these up with more gear assemblies. Right, and then something like that. I assume can these only power from one way? Doesn't really tell me if they're connected. I guess we'll find out. like that. That. Okay. More visitors. Bug bats are fighting. Oh, which one? Zon! Are you in jail still? You are, good. Recently seen busting someone's lip with a book. Uh, here. 
So, while those are made, so we can set up the rest of our water wheels. Also, this is like so overkill for power for these water wheels. Um, each water wheel produces a net 10 or a 90 power, I believe. Like it, it produces 100, but then consumes 10 on its own. Memory serves. Yeah. Um, and when you see total power, this will be for the entire mach the linked machine. So this entire setup here is producing 700 power um, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because we have seven water wheels. Soon we'll have another seven. Um, but the axles and gear assemblies are consuming 123 uh, of that power. Um, that means even just now we already have another uh, almost 600 power just available to us, and the millstone takes 10. So we're going to be set on power. Oh, you can just see them rotating. That's... Seeing the axles like actually rotating like that. That's amazing. Um, but now that we have uh, a bottom thing here, we can make our axles on top of it. Um, so a vertical axle there. I believe we could probably designate the rest of these, but they're gonna they'd have to be made in order to not collapse. So we'll. I'll wait for them to make each of these as they go. Um, there's only a couple of floors. Uh, here, you resume. You're all fine. You're all fine. Look, look at this. Um, but see, this isn't connected, so this power... This is this machine is requiring 172 power, but it's got zero. Um, so once we connect a to B, then it'll just be one big machine. Um, and then, yeah, we will have powered millstones up the wazoo. Yeah, we'll just keep going. That's fine. Um, okay, so that got made going up. Vertical. Um, Antrims. Yeah, that was all quick. are for our nobles. Maybe I'll place all that furniture off stream. <laughs> y'all have a y'all have places upstairs. I just want to move them down. Um but I do have stuff for these bedrooms. In theory. Since we're just gonna be Perpetually at our population cap now. It's for everyone. Yes. And cabinets. This way. Cool. 
Now those are all bedrooms. Now, how did you... How are you missing a bed? Yeah. That I still had one. Okay. And then all of these... And then all of these... Bees? I have bees. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I'm just here mumbling to myself. Also, hi. Uh, silly troglodytes. We are working on power. You are just waiting. Right, so you have one, you do not. Vertical axle. And then one more? That's not too bad. These all got placed. Queen wants rings. You'll get rings. Someone's making rings, I'm sure. are it's active okay how is our strange mood going you got some bones and some pyrites cool no I think these are these are new new and Newton rings Newman they're new in rings <laughs> Dumping continues. Oh, we did end up with a wheelbarrow in here. Reclaim the wheelbarrows. A lot of teeth. Lots of horns. Okay. And yeah, I've got a lot of rocks. It's fine. There's another wheelbarrow. And another. Glad this remembers where I was scrolling. Eat. Well, we got some corpses. What are you hauling? And we still have so much in here. Holy cow. Um, look. Wheat. Okay, so this layer's all fine. Here. to chop all these trees as they're in the way. These specifically. Tower caps don't really get in the way. They just go up. You either have too many trees or not enough trees. Never the right amount of trees. It's Spears of the Elves. <laughs> um, here, we can build here. And 
here. Yeah, okay. We're getting there. Words do not often take kindly to talking about microaggressions. I believe that. If I don't like talking about macroaggressions either. the things, please. I don't even care about the locks. I just want the trees gone. <laughs> um, okay. Back to the machines. Uh, we need just one more. No, one more. Hmm, Axel. Also gonna I'm gonna get rid of the kerns. So I don't want them just assigning a job to it and leaving away at that for no reason. Screw presses can stay. I wish there was a, uh, a powered version of the screw press. That'd be cool too. the vertical stuff is done, we can just make a little gear mechanism here, and that will connect A to B. And in theory, turn on all the millstones. see them all moving. And they just instantly took jobs. Now. Now I don't care what mill jobs they've all taken, because this is going to go way faster than all those manual jobs. I just want them to mill everything. They mill and they mash. Do they get do they leave and come back or does it just take way less time? I guess that's the question. I think they still have to stand there. Milling plants. And just every, the entire fortress is gonna to come and take mill jobs. I'm okay with that. takes a little bit to do, doesn't it? Uh, 
I just don't understand these flames of passion people go on about. <laughs> Not lonely, felt lonely. Okay, and then he's done. And he drops his crown. Uh-huh. Um, it's a machine. Okay, almost. But yeah, there's power. There's power to millstones. Now this whole machine, we're using 400 of 1400, so we have another surplus thousand power if we want to do something with it. I don't even know what to do with it now. Um, yeah. So I'm throwing a tantrum, as always. Oh. More gauntlets, really? Didn't we just make gauntlets? Hmm. Mm hmm. Um. Let's see, these are these are sandbags. These are empty bags. This is our food stockpile. We shouldn't need to go too far. Yeah. Okay. Caves. Um, walls. I'm glad I made all these blocks. Um, okay, so those got chopped. They are grabbing. I guess I could just do that. Okay, now I can rebuild this stair. Like that. they've grabbed all these logs, I'll close it again. At least this is quick.
I'm gonna do a floor over that one. Done, cool. No, I'm not very chatty right this moment. If anyone has any questions, feel free to ask. I'm making walls. Hey, no one got stuck. Good. Oh. Okay, so we're, we're doing okay here. I'll just I'll continue. Um, let's check out our yeah. Look at all this. Just finish now. Hey, Weapon Smith has created Burast. Hebon, a copper short sword. Alright. Um, let's put that in the museum. What was it called? Rurast Kebon. Bottom? No. Search for the whole thing. Or you are. Nope. Copper short sword. There we are. Our second copper short sword artifact. <laughs> of the major moving bits have been taken care of. We're still taking out a lot of trash, though. Oh, that's being taken care of, too, though. Okay, I'm not gonna give anyone 
me big hauling orders for a second, because if we could clear this out, that'd be fantastic. This has been a mess for a very long time. <laughs> you can use the wheelbarrows. Use the wheelbarrows. Yeah. Canceling mesh. I'm wondering if I need to separate out my food stockpile into some different categories to make those jobs work more consistently. Yak bull has gone berserk. Why is there a yak in the water? In a berserk rage. Did we have some migrants and I didn't assign some animals? Doesn't explain why he'd be down here though. Aside from horrible luck. Um, it's mostly just... What do you want now? You want more rings. Fine. I have told you not to have... I know, I... I swear, I said zero bear. Uh, okay. We're good up to here. Construct wall. side we are fine perfect okay auto butcher is going clearly um i'm gonna go ahead and chop down all of these trees and hopefully that creates more space for grass to grow I'm also wondering if I should wait to pin things down here until the trees are chopped so I don't accidentally, like, squish my goats with a tree or something. Um, but I'm also gonna mine... I'm gonna mine this all out. Most of it's just going to be rock underneath, right? But just on the off chance that there's more soil under here. So removing these ramps is probably a good idea. Yeah. Looks like a pin to me. Oh, we can put our little our shops nearby as well. Right? Maybe... Maybe I won't box myself in. Mm 
It's just all stone. Fire clay. Sparse cave moss. Some of this is stone, some of this is just stone like <laughs> moss that looks like stone. Yay, saving. Also known as lichens. Not really, though. <laughs> That'd be cool. Moss esque stone. Like underneath, that's just stone. Yeah, okay. Now our, our pen will be much closer to our, our butcher too, so that'll that'll probably be more efficient. Uh, Zon, I swear you still no, you're out. Who you're gonna harass this time? Nope, not the soldier. Too smart for that. I'm going to punch the next person I see. No, not you. Our, our other tantrumer is also still here. The This guy over here uh, assaulted the queen in a tantrum, so I, I convicted him of his crimes, and then I banished him. And I think what has happened is uh, he's no longer a prisoner. He's just person we are detaining so I don't know, maybe I'll maybe I'll let him go on purpose a very tame tantrum so far just stand in there Just waiting, waiting for someone you can sucker punch on a stairwell, aren't you? Human poet found dead. Where? Did Zon get you? Did I miss that? Oh, gosh. Human poet. Yup. Planter attacks the human. Planter punches the human poet in the neck. Bruising the muscle, tearing apart the spine's nervous tissue through the cloak. Zon. If that were a dwarf, you'd be in real trouble. going make pearl ash is checking not satisfied mm. you say you have okay but it's not in the linked file? Uh, no. This one. Um, okay, so it's you. Right? Make a clear glass box. You are linked with... You just also need pearl ash, which is in here. In theory. Right? 
Stand and Pearl Ash. We also need um same thing. Maybe that'll help. Plenty of sand. On our hospital, we should dig our hospital. And the rest of this, really. Um, <laughs> all our animals are here. Um, this is also going to be other animals. Except a general animal stockpile. And accept all the things, and it's gonna give there when it can. Um, but we can we can put our our soldiers in our our new barracks. The thing we should do. Like this. Kind of doors. Can be better about doors. Um, why is there just a random forbidden water skin? Anyway, <laughs> furniture, bed. Four, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. And we'll give you some chests. And some cabinets. Oh, ghostly bone doctor. Cabinet. I come for your bones. I don't think they technically need weapon racks and armor stands, but I'm gonna give them anyway. And then... Ghostly bones or a bone doctor who is ghostly. Yes. <laughs> Pretty sure it's the... Bone Doctor who is ghostly, but I mean, who can even tell? No, not a dormitory. Or is that how that works? You need to be a mm -hmm. barracks. There's a whole different thing now. Yes, barracks. Weird. Um, Except. Yeah. And then. Like this. Barracks. And this is for the. Homes of opening. You will sleep here. You will not train here. You will store individual stuff, and you will store your squad stuff. And then this is for our second squad. Um, 
That'll be for our, our, your stuff. And then our training quarters are going to be down here. Um, let's do, we'll do like this. And then, yeah, we'll connect these at a lower priority. I'll put us in good shape. Now our soldiers will be hanging out down where I want them to be. Instead of being the last people in the old fortress. Okay. Alright. Ghost. Ghostly Bone Doctor. Heard him. That's true, yeah. I mean, we've basically moved out at this point. Um, I should remove your old barracks. Maybe I'll do it like this. Oddest. The barracks will still be there, but I'll unassign you from using it, so that you maybe move your stuff out. Um, but yeah, this is what's left of the upper fortress. The rest of this we've largely cleared out. Oh, I can I can take away this stockpile now. That can all be moved down. The space for it now. Um, I'm also yeah perfect. I'll get rid of that. Uh, even take back our cage trains. And hopefully these will all get moved down at some point. There's just so much crap up here still. Such a mountain goats. Um, I want to make a new training room too. This can go away. This is our old food stockpile. And our nest boxes. We should make nest boxes downstairs. Sorry, geese. I'll leave the ones that get claimed, I guess. have all of our long stay rooms and these levers some of those we'll have to replicate as well um, but we got all that reclaimed we're getting there in our hospital of course this is going to be the main <laughs> thing that's still going to be going on here so everyone, everyone coming for those those. Then our new pen is filled with a bunch of wood now. It is very nearly complete. Um, 
No, that's fine. Well, that's all stone. Yeah, that wasn't really working. That's fine. Um, I can also just remove the bottom layer of all these stairs. And I guess in case any of those have. Squares that can grow. The upper ones can stay, I believe. I'll just stay attached to the wall. Um, and we can make some farmer's workshops. All these trees are chopped. I'm gonna assign our our pinnable things down here. I will finally merge our mountain goats into our general population. Um, curious. I've been keeping them uh, separated because I've been taming them, but now here can we stray mountain goats? Look, domesticated mountain goats. Amazing. They're still... Nope, they're all... They're all domesticated, aren't they? Anything that's not? Just the ravens. I've been having... I've been trying to get the ravens to reproduce so I can actually, like, domesticate ravens, but I keep... I think I keep eating their eggs. Or not... Letting them do their thing. Uh, relatively sure I even put their... Yeah, so we can't cook them. Uh, ghost. Here. Just the one yeah. yeah. Still have that forgotten beast down there. Killing the crundles. Okay. Yeah, there you are. Living its best life. Is healthy. Shocked after being attacked. The gall of that crundle. An emotional shock. What did that crundle say? <laughs> Disgusted after retching on miasma. days enough crundles are gonna pile on and you're gonna be in trouble um no i want this one um so we have more people coming this bin is still here excellent um surely this bin is also fine Yeah, I really wonder what can emotionally shock a forgotten beast like that. Look, all, all these porcelain crafts are here. Uh, 
109 porcelain crafts, 9,000. Very cool. Here's all the rings. Just a box of rings. Another 3,000. Okay. We're getting things sorted. Things are things are showing up in the right places now. Mostly. <laughs> our furniture stockpile, our block stockpile. Ghostly Bone Doctor put to rest. Oh, I also wanted to see if I could assign a second boot to my uniform, and if that would get them to actually wear two boots. Because last I checked... Oh, no, they're wearing boots. That's a lot of green. Okay. Okay. Well, it says... Hmm. The fact that it doesn't say two assigned items. I mean, it's so weird. This, like... I'm telling them to wear socks and boots. And they all put on two socks and one boot. And gloves. Like, if I say wear gloves, they put on a glove on each hand. If I tell them to wear boots, they put on... A boot. Hey, look, another ghost. Is that our... Is that our Elder Lord? Ghostly Planter. What was our Elder Lord's name? I forget even. Already lost to history. It's a whole thing. The armor... There's a lot of tricks to it, but it's also just kind of janky, um, and has been for a very long time. Uh, right. Which earth canazes? You. Great. Just happy when they're wearing two socks. No kidding. You have your pants on? Do you need to tie your laces? One thing that I did recently that has had probably the biggest effect, um, by default, if you have your dwarf, if your military's on a on a schedule where they'll train and then not train off and on, by default that order will tell them to wear their civilian clothing when they're not on duty. So every time they go off duty they'll take off all their military stuff and put on all their normal clothes. And then if they're off duty when you tell them to go station somewhere, now they have to go and grab all their stuff and put it on before they can actually go to their station. So I changed everyone's orders so that they are dressed in their full military outfit, whether or not they are on duty. And that has helped a good bit. Now they actually wear their uniform. It's just a matter of getting their uniform to actually behave. It makes sense to take it off. I think it makes them happier in the long run if they're not wearing it for too for too long. Um but I just want them to have their stuff on when I tell them to go fight the things. <laughs> I'd rather them be grumpy and alive. Uh, that's fine. Mm hmm.
What are you out here for? You collecting webs? You're dumping something. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff to dump over here too, isn't there? Are we finally cleaning up? What was that? This? This. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, look at all this trash. Oh boy. There's all these random trash piles that I've been ignoring this whole time. It is just a mess. Go, like, it extends all the way down here, too. Jeez. Hmm. <laughs> oh, from the Forgotten Beast? That's a totally different cave, even. This is all draining slowly. That's good. That's good. Couple corpses in there still. True. I've closed off the passage between the caves though, because that was like the first thing that happened when I had the second cave layer closed off. It found a way up. <laughs> um, so I'm relatively confident that it's actually closed off down there at this point. Uh, okay. And then we're also draining here. Cool. Of course you did. draining. This is... Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> this is so much water. Once it gets down to ones and twos, one a depth of one can evaporate on its own, so it'll kind of pick up speed, I think. But jeez. Okay, let's... Place a thing, in theory. I've already filled up our little thing here. No. You. Memorial. Um, we'll make a little door. And yeah, here's our here's the passage. Um, you'll frequently find passages like this that link cave layers. They're just weird little vertical shoots, and it just has a, a single channel. Uh, but it comes all the way up to here and leads out here. Uh, so I just I walled I floored this off, and that has apparently sealed everything. Um, but let's, we'll make a spot for some more ghostly planter put to rest. Excellent. Uh, we'll do like... Something like this. More spots for slabs. Um, okay. Eric. Well crafted memorial to Aerith. Slab reads In memory of Aerith, born 85, bled to death, slave by the cavefish woman, climate purges with a silver spear. Friend of Kowati men. <laughs> so that wasn't our, our elder lord, but. Uh, died of thirst. Lover of gold opal. Struck down by the cave fish man. King step. <laughs> ghost dwarf isn't a ghost, but rather a dwarf stuffed in the upside down. That would be unfortunate. Okay. Machines are going. We've dug out some stuff. Doing good here. Look at all that. Oh my goodness. And this is all new stuff too. Okay. Um, so I'm going to give this an order to, to 
<laughs> dump the stuff. Holy cow. I don't think there's anything else in here we care about. Wow. So many corpses. Yeah. Okay. Love it. I'm going to pull this twice. And... Now I can go about, like, unforbidding all this random stuff. Like our surface? There's still just random stuff up here. This was our previous, uh... Our corpse, sto corpse stockpile used to be here. It used to, like, take up this entire little plateau. That's when I got frustrated and was like, I we need to burn things. Mm -hmm. They're all still up here. Burning is good. Let's get rid of you. And... This is basically done. Very nearly done. Just do the last couple of... What do you mean? Oh, because I already got rid of you. Whoops. Must remove construction. Uh-oh, I stranded my thing. Mm. Oh, wait. Let's just do this. Okay. Um, and then here. Construct wall. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create my little pen here. Uh, yeah, pen slash pasture. Come on. You. Why is it being so weird? Okay. I don't think it likes to be over multiple levels. I guess we'll find out. Um, but yeah. Just make sure nothing weird happens here. Worst case scenario, we can make another little, another one down there. Um, yeah, I hope that's big enough. But let's assign all our grazers, basically everything that's already in a pen. We have a lot of crundles to get through. It's on. I swear. You. You, you, you. Some stray llamas. We have some creatures. Okay, anything else? No, I don't think so. Mule? Mule? 
Eels graze? Eels graze, right? Okay. Oh. Get in there. I'm hoping... Burrowed fire clay. Hmm. How did I... There's some trick to making farms. Maybe it'll work in here too. I'll, I'll do some research and see if we can increase how many of these tiles actually grow. Things for our grazers. Okay. That good enough? Um, I'll resume that. And then these I don't want to take. General orders. They're just for milking. Okay, we're about done here. I'll be wrapping up. Um, but we've made some progress. We've got a new pen for all of our new, for all our old creatures. Um, they're going to be much closer to where they're useful. Hopefully people will be bringing them down. Yeah, there's Ray Cow Calf. Yeah. Look at all that. Zero years old. Okay. Cool. And last bit. That's everything. Cool. We are fully walled in here. Now we just got goats in the cave. I'm just gonna... stay um yeah we got cave goats we've got new military barracks look at all this we're digging out our new training area um our our animal storage is here we're gonna start a new fight pit here that will be a whole thing um our armor's down here now Yeah. Um, and we got power going. We got um, all these millstones. Make our last two. Yes, whatever. Who's closest? Cool. No one's ever going to need to do a, a kern job again, as long as we have water flowing. Our river does freeze. So I am wondering what's going to happen in the winter with our, with our water flow. Huh. But I suspect it will be fine. Look at this. I mean, we're... I think we're doing good here. Put some doors in. Need some hatches. Probably have a whole bunch more glass for our uh, this button. Probably a bunch of glass sitting here for us. There is some glass sitting here for us. No, there's a good bit. Okay. So we're we'll make some more progress on our glass. 
Um, we'll keep smoothing, we'll keep engraving, we'll keep taking out the trash. Look, people praying, worshipping. This is a visiting baroness. Baron. Baron. Visiting people using our temples. Look at all this. Worshipping. Worshipping. Or even like... Awareness of letter plan. Yeah. Look at all that. And then anyone else who doesn't have an actual shrine... Pray to Stram Thunder Yells! <laughs> uh... Did we put... We put that one to rest, didn't we? I thought. Or we, do we still have a ghost? Uh, Zeb. No, that's not what I meant. Furniture. Lab. Shoes. No. No? Okay. Are you a new one? Or are there just so many that I can't keep up? Uh, here. No, you're memorialized. Maybe it just didn't tell me. Yeah, okay. Anyway. I think we're good. I think we're stopping there. Um... Yeah, so that was fun. Made some good progress. Um, I won't be around this Saturday because we'll be going out of town, but I will be back on Monday for Mordor Fortress, and then Thursday for Mordor Fortress, and then uh, the following weekend we will probably finish up that uh, Elden Ring randomizer run. It's going very well. So plan on. I expect that that will be finished up in one more stream. Check out the YouTube if you want to see the VODs of either the Elden Ring stuff or the Dwarf Fortress stuff. Um, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Um, but yeah, tune in if you want more of this, because I got plenty more to do. And have, uh, have a good weekend. <laughs>